What do we have here? Don't I know you from somewhere? Who wants to know? I'm Buster, one of Lee's mercenaries. And you had better be a little nicer to me, or I'll have your hide. All right, what do you want here? If you say so, I'm on my way to see the landowner. Indeed. Hmm. You don't look all that dangerous to me. I've killed a beast or two on occasion. Ha! Ha ha ha! You probably flattened a few weevils in the fields and chased a couple of rats from their holes. We're dealing with orcs here. Well, yeah. And with those scummy city guards. <laughs> So? <laughs> As if you knew what I'm talking about. You think you're mighty strong, don't you? Maybe it's about time that somebody taught you a lesson. Any time. Come closer then, buddy. See the next time. Don't tell me you didn't know that. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? I want to find out more about the mercenaries in this region. I can't tell you much about this region. You'd better ask the farmers. And as for us mercenaries, we have a very simple rule. If you can stand your ground, you're in. I think you're made of the right stuff to be one of us. But you shouldn't let it get to your head that you lucked out during our last fight. There are plenty of guys on the farm who are quite a bit better than I am. Sentenza, for one. He guards the entry to the farm. Whatever you do, don't pick a fight with him. What about this Sentenza? He'll try to squeeze some gold out of you when you come to the farm. He does that to all newcomers, and if I were you, I'd pay up. That's what I did back then, and the good thing was that he voted for me afterwards. One good turn deserves another, he said. I lost all my gold in the bargain, but it wasn't much to begin with. And I was glad of it in the end. I once watched him beat up a fellow who had decided not to pay him. Thanks for the hint. Indeed. Could it be worth anything to you? Here you are, five gold pieces. 
Yeah, thanks, man. Looks like I can take a few tonight after all. I won't forget this. I want to join the mercenaries. Anyone who can whack as hard as you shouldn't have too much trouble around here. My vote doesn't count much, since I haven't been here for long. But when Lee asks me, I'll vote for you. Lee is the leader of the mercenaries, isn't he? Right. Hey, now I remember where I know you from. You were in the colony, too. Hmm, so I was. I didn't see you when the Big Bang happened. Not for a while before that, either. I had... other problems. You've missed out on quite a lot, then. Things have changed since we were in the Slammer together. What became of the mercenaries in the colony? Once the barrier was gone, Lee let us out of the colony. He said that nothing could happen to us if we all stuck together. And he was right. It wasn't too long before we found ourselves a cozy spot right here. The landowner pays us to beat up the militia from the city. And most of us would have volunteered to do that even without pay. But Onar feeds us all. And we can bide our time until we see a good opportunity to get away from this blasted island. Can you teach me how to fight better? I might well be able to give you a hint or two. I'm staying out of it. How's it going? You're not one of us, huh? I'd get out of here if I were you. Why? This wasn't a paradise before, but at least we were left in peace as long as we did our work for Sekob. But lately it's become unbearable. Bandits are everywhere, field raiders destroy the entire harvest, and the landowner is getting to be pretty brutal. Are you afraid of the landowner then? You bet. If the landowner doesn't like people's faces, he sends his mercenaries after him, and that's the last you see of them. So we prefer to keep our mouths closed. Shouldn't the mercenaries take care of the field raiders? I don't know what they're being paid for, but certainly not to help us common people. The field raider problem is left to the small farmers who rent the fields from him. How do you protect yourselves against the bandits? We don't. We run away. What else? Keep your chin up. That's not so easy if you're working for Sekob, the slave driver. Hello, beautiful maid. Stop trying to sweet talk me, boy. And tell me what you want. I'm busy. How's the field work coming? Look at these huge fields we have to work. And you know how we're doing. Are you looking for farm work? Maybe. In that case, you should go and see our farmer Sekob, the old slave driver. 
Maybe he's got something for you. Of course, you could also try Owner's Farm at the end of the long road. But beware of the mercenaries. They don't take to strangers. So where are we headed then? Are you the foreman here? I'll give you one upside the head, you rascal. If you want to go ambling across my land, you'll pay me five gold coins, or you're in for a good thrashing. Your land? Are you the farmer here? You can bet on that. Why else would I make you pay me a toll? I don't mind if you go ask the others about me. <laughs> Forget it. You won't get anything from me. Then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to tan your hide. Come on and try it then. Well, in that case... Don't you try that again. Hey! How are things? Ah, a new face here on the farm. Has the old skin flint finally granted me an apprentice? I'm not an apprentice. Oh, I see. I'm not as young as I used to be, you know, and, uh, I've been waiting for a replacement for years. You aren't here because the neighbors are annoyed, are you? What's the work you do here? Oh, I guard the sheep, and uh, I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. The animals are very loyal and uh, very smart, you see. If you treat them well, they'll follow you for a lifetime. What's the trouble with your neighbors? The grass on this side of the big field is always so stunted and dry, so I mostly go to the big pastures of the other farmers. Oh, the landowner doesn't mind, but Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, always makes a big deal out of it when I take the animals up there. He says Sekob should pay if I take his animals on to Bengar's pasture. But Sekob won't spend a measly coin for that, so I can't go up onto the plateau anymore. Everything else all right? Oh, I can't complain. Thanks for asking. Well, kiddo? That's no way for a farmhand to talk to me. Just how often do I have to remind you? 
Are you in charge here? Uh, no, I'm only Sekub's son. But once my old man is no longer with us, then all the land you can see here will belong to me. Amazing. Is that how you always treat your field workers? Of course, they need that. Whoever doesn't tow the line here gets thrashed. That's the way it goes. There's this guy who demands a toll from every passerby, claiming he's the farmer. Uh, yes, I know. That's Bronco. He does whatever he wants. Not that I haven't pounded it into him a thousand times that he should finally get back to work. But? He just doesn't do it. My father's quite annoyed with me that I still haven't managed to persuade him to go back to work. Maybe I can help you. Do you mean that? Okay, listen, if you can get Bronco to go back to work, I'll pay you, shall we say, 10 gold pieces? What do you say? No problem, but I want more money. All right, 20 gold pieces then. All right, I'll see what I can do. But hurry up about it. So, still got that big mouth? Don't beat me, please! I'll even go back to work, okay? Wait a minute. So, busy as a bee, are you? You won't go fetch those mercenaries, huh? Don't beat me, please! I'll even go back to work, okay? Hey. Bronco's back at work. Really? That's terrific. Yeah, and now I want my cash. Hmm, well... Business is business, right? Hey, you! I need to talk to your father. He hasn't got time, but I'm his deputy. What can I help you with? By introducing me to your father. You're a real tough guy and a good fighter, huh? The best. I think maybe I better get him then. Never mind, boy. I'll find him, I'm sure. If you say so. Hey! So what do you do when you're not busy playing ruler of the farm? Stand guard. The filthy militiamen from the city are coming onto our land more and more often and stealing everything they can get their hands on. Only last week the bastards were here, and they took some of our sheep. If I could get my hands on one of them, I'd make short work of him. But of course. Why don't the mercenaries help you against the militia? Before they even turn up, I've already driven them off. Has anyone blown your nose for you today? Leave me alone, you idiot. Hey! Everything all right with you? Well, it's so-so. My back hurts from all this hard labor. What are you doing here? I don't get visitors here all that often. Usually, it's either some cutthroats from the mountains or those horrible malicious soldiers from the city. They've been raiding our farm rather frequently lately. But you don't look like you're one of them. Or are you? What are you doing here? I've been asking myself that for several years. Sekub, my husband, has fallen out with everyone in the area by now. He's in debt everywhere, and so he steals goods from Onar's stocks and sells them in town. By now, he's accumulated a fortune with his underhanded dealings, and he works our field hands until their backs break. His own people call him nothing but slave driver these days. I'm not particularly proud to call myself the wife of Sekob. Believe me, sometimes I wish the barrier was still in place. Would you like to buy something to eat? Or perhaps something for hunting in the forest? 
What can you offer me? What do you want? Well, it's the dome that used to enclose the old Valley of Mines. Many of the farmers and workers who committed a crime back then were simply tossed in there, and they never came back. Why did the militia attack you on your farms here? Because there's nobody there to prevent them from simply plundering our farms instead of buying our goods. The king is far away. And we just have to put up with working for Onar and hoping that Onar will send help when we really need it. What does Onar's help look like? Sometimes we receive warning in advance when some militiamen are planning to pay us a visit on their own account to rob us. Then we send somebody to the old landowner to ask him for help. And then usually, it doesn't take long for the mercenaries he pays to come here and chase off the militia. But when all is said and done, the mercenaries aren't much better. Have you ever been at the barrier? No, we only heard about it. Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, can surely tell you more about that. His farm is quite close to the pass which leads to the Valley of Mines. How can I get to Bengar's farm? Go ask Balthazar. He's our shepherd. He sometimes leads his animals to graze on Bengar's pastures up there. He'll be able to tell you how to get there. Keep your chin up. Take care of yourself and don't let them get to you. What are you doing on my land? There's nothing here to steal clear off. Isn't there a piece of land in this blasted country that doesn't belong to anyone? Go to work. Then maybe someday you can call a piece of land your own. But until then, kindly loaf around somewhere else. <laughs> 